Hi, I'm Krista, a former US visa officer, and today I am here to talk to you about the E2 visa. Now, I was a visa officer, and in that job, I did a lot of decision-making on the E2 visa class. I saw a lot of E2 visa applications. In addition, after leaving the State Department, I became a paralegal, and at the law firm I work at, help people make their packets and have submitted them to embassies and consulates all over the world. And with Argo Visa, I help people prepare for their interview to make sure that they feel confident and that they're going into that visa interview the most prepared possible. The E2 visa class is very interesting. It allows foreign nationals who have a nationality of a country that has a commerce treaty with the United States to invest money and commit funds to a business in the United States of their founding or that they buy or that they invest in and to move to the United States with this visa to reside there temporarily to bring the business to success, to grow it, and to manage it. Many people, when they get into this visa class, they're not exactly sure how to go about it. Getting a visa packet together is no small feat. It's a lot of documentation. It's very paper heavy. There's a lot of ins and outs. There's a lot of little requirements that you have to be aware of. And I truly do recommend getting a lawyer, working with a law firm on filing this packet. It will set you up for a smoother process and ensure that the visa officer is looking at a visa packet that hits on all of the qualifications. Now, once you have the packet and you're ready to go to the interview, that's where it really depends on you. You can't bring your lawyer, you can't bring anyone else to this visa interview. It's you and the consular officer discussing the merits of this application. I have some tips for you when you go into this interview. The first is to know your packet. You cannot go into this visa interview relying on the answer that, oh, I'm not sure about that number or I'm not sure about that document my lawyer prepared this packet that is not gonna fly the officer is not going to be impressed and it could imperil your visa issuance so being very well studied on the numbers the papers the evidence presented in your packet is number one the second is to go in there with a business pitch to be confident you are going in there to impress the officer to show them that you have business acumen that you have potential that you have a background that makes sense for the kind of business that you are presenting now, a lot of people find this uncomfortable. They don't want to brag or they don't want to, you know, overstate themselves. And I understand that, but you do have to go in there confident and it's really a service to yourself to get ready for this, to practice, and to make sure that that confidence shines through in your interview. Here at Argo Visa, we're happy to help you with E2 interview preparation. You can reach out to hello at argovisa.com. We'll be happy to help you.